know Jules Stauffer? Yes, I do. He was a client of yours, isn't that right? Yes. Wasn't he originally represented by Alvin Burton? Yes, that is correct. Why did he change representation? Because I handled him on an aggravated assault charge. That's my area, not Burton's area, so... Did Jules Stauffer express dissatisfaction with Mr. Burton? No, not at all. Burton's an excellent lawyer. You're not going after him, are you? Well, we're not going after anyone, Mr. Kirkland. We're simply you trying know to... know David Krebs? We're simply trying to review certain accusations to determine whether or not they are true and to more or less clean our own house. So please do not overdramatize these proceedings. It's not the McCarthy hearings. Oh, that's a relief. So you're not going to ask me, are you now or have you ever been a lawyer? That wasn't amusing, Mr. Kirkland. Do you know David Krebs? No, it wasn't, Miss, um... Um... Packer. Packer. This isn't amusing. It is, however, ridiculous. Yes, David Krebs, I know him. Have you ever seen... Is this mic working? Do you know David Krebs? Why are we using microphones? Why don't we just talk to each other close enough? This is a hearing, Mr. Kirkland. Ah, oh, yes. It's a hearing. Uh, do you know Jules Stauffer? We've already asked that question, Mr. Kirkland. <clears throat> oh, we're through with Stauffer? How about Alvin Burton? You know David Krebs? I already asked that. What did he say? Said yes. Have you ever seen him intoxicated in court? David Krebs has a speech impediment. Now, if you check your records, you'll see it's there someplace. No, that's the answer to your question. No, he doesn't drink. Doesn't drink at all. At this point, I would just like to say that what this committee is doing in theory is highly commendable. However, in practice, it sucks. And I am not going to answer any more questions.